Hi, I'm Jacqueline, and I'm going to be presenting my um, systems learning sewage diagram. So here you can see that sewage spills are in the middle of the diagram, and on this side are the causes, and on this side are the effects. So causes of sewage spills can be lack of funding of training, maintenance, and high quality systems. So um, lack of funding for high quality systems and maintenance can be like damaged pipes, septic failure, or unsealed manholes. Lack of funding of training in the facility um, can lead to insufficient knowledge of how to stop or prevent a spill, and all of these um, lead to sewage spills. Citizens flushing things that they shouldn't also leads to this, um, such as children's toys, and this causes debris buildup in the damaged pipes, which again cause sewage spills. After this has happened, um, spills affect many aspects of the system, like the discharge location, which can harm surrounding wildlife, and the community, workers who have to um, clean up the spill, workers that are in the facility. It also affects businesses in the area, um, and then that affects the economy. It also leads to a smell produced by hydrogen sulfide or H2S, which causes many health issues, which is also connected to business because maybe people get sick and they can't come to work. And then that all affects tourism, which again fix, affects the economy, as well as large costs. And on the side here, um, kind of apart from everything else, are the cleanup chemicals. Um, substances like bleach are used to clean sewage spills, and even though it's cleaning, that's not that great for the environment, which again causes health issues in the end anyways. So as you can see, everything is kind of connected together in the causes versus the effects.